cliffcentral.com. It is time for another episode of our series with Grovest, which is all about filling you in on Section 12J, and a lot of people are interested in this at the moment. It was, of course, legislated by the South African government to encourage taxpayers in South Africa to invest in local companies and receive a 100% tax deduction of the value of their investment. Now, the investor in return receives a Section 12J tax certificate and uh, venture capital shares. The invested amount can then be deducted from the investor's taxable income in the year in which the investment is made. Now, whether you're interested in setting up, looking for someone to finance or administer your venture capital company, clipcentral.com has discovered a company called Grovest, and they can help you to be your innovative Section 12J specialist, corporate advisory, and finance partner. Now, today, I'm joined by fund manager Amaresh Chetty, who's here to tell us more about something called Pepper Club. Amaresh, nice to see you. Thanks for having me on the show. No problem at all. So Section 12J, we found out a little bit in the last couple of weeks about what exactly it is. But what is Pepper Club Invest? So Pepper Club Invest is a Section 12J VCC company with a focus on hospitality. Ah. So, and our initial it's one asset... Of the, it's one of the sectors that uh, it's, 12J is, is particularly focused on. Correct, mm. because it's the only one that really has a real estate underpin. Right. And so... So they've been popular. Right. So exactly what does Pepper Club mean and do and where is it located and you know who's, so, who's running this? So apart from being the fund manager, I'm actually a director of the company. Uh-huh. Um, so I can tell you all about the team in a bit. Sure. Um, the initial asset is a five-star hotel in Cape Town called the Pepper Club, hence the name. It's in the middle of the Cape Town CBD, so very well located, accessibility to things like Table Mountain and the Waterfront, Hmm. and has hosted international stars, hosted people like Netflix shooting movies. It's it's a nice property. Fantastic. How long ago was it acquired, and and, uh, how long has it been running? So it was, we'll talk about the acquisition in in a bit, right? But um, it was built in, it was, it opened in 2010, so it was obviously built before that. It, it, ho- it started taking in guests in March 2010. Okay. So it's got a 10-year track record. It's been profitable every one of those 10 years. Amazing. It runs average 60% occupancies. It was profitable through the drought when tourist numbers dipped in Cape Town. So it's a nice property. Fantastic. With a track record like that, I'm sure that there's no problem attracting investors. Um. Yeah, there's been good interest, um, but we're helping people in their interest by saying, if you'd like to invest, one of the unique selling points about this particular 12J, and I I do think it's unique because I'm not aware of any of the other 160 plus 12Js doing this, we'll finance your subscription, so I actually don't need you to part with any money. Wow. It sounds almost too good to be true. Don't say that. (laughs) Well, you know, that's what people do when they hear something that's uh, that's as good a deal as this. I mean, there are already benefits to, to S12J, and I think a lot of people are already aware of those. And I, I mentioned briefly that the, the tax benefit is obviously one big reason for people to do it. Yeah. But if you can invest in something that is going to deliver a nice return, that's a bonus. So, in the, I mean, if we talk about the returns, we've got a financial return over the period of your investment. And when we say the period... Um, as a lot of people listening will be aware, you're required to hold these shares for five years, else there's recoupment. Mm-hmm. Over that period, given that it's got this track record, we're comfortable offering a guaranteed operating yield of 7.6% over the period. Um, and then on the non-financial side, we're also happy to throw in a few f- free room nights for our shareholders every year. Oh, wow, that's a nice bonus. Because I think people would like to, to know that they can also go and check out their investment and, and experience it. It is, is the kind of investment where you actually can get in and feel and touch and taste and smell and see. Yeah, and let's be not. I mean, most people who are going to invest in this will either go to Cape Town for a holiday or on business. Yeah. At which point, use our free nights. Fantastic. Uh, just tell me, you mentioned the team. Um, so... There are two t- teams, really, that have come together to bring this product to market. One uh, is the Solomon Brothers Property Group out of Cape Town. Mm-hmm. Um, they are three brothers, David, Jeffrey, and Irving. They've got a 40-year track record in real estate. They've 
quite a multi-billion rand portfolio in the Cape. The Promenade Shopping Centre in Camps Bay, which I'm sure people are very familiar with, is theirs. This hotel, they've got an office block. Um, the Pinnacle Advocates Chambers in Cape Town is owned by them. They've got some apartment hotel um, offering behind the lighthouse in Mully Point called Versailles. Um, so 40 years in track record, big portfolio, and listed company experience. They've been on the boards of Arnold Property Fund once upon a time, as well as on the board of Redefine. Sure. Um, the other part of the team is Grovest, who you mentioned previously. I'll talk about Jeff Miller. Um, Jeff has started multiple companies, and I suppose uh, if we talk about his listed experience, he's been part of the team that listed Brand Corp on the JSE in 1997, um, took it private in a 1.4 billion rand management buyout. Um, I'm on the board. Uh, the mo I was a director of the National Lottery until very recently. I've previously been involved in a number of empowerment comp uh, deals, including in the property sector. So in other words, I mean, this is an experienced team. They know, know what they're doing. It's not like you've got a a group of inexperienced uh, people off the street who are going to be running this investment for you. But Jeff, we've spent quite a lot of time with too. And, and obviously from a Grobest point of view, he's he's probably one of the most knowledgeable people when it comes to 12J. Yeah, I mean, Grovest were the pioneers. Yeah. Grovest must administer what, what, 40 of the VCCs in the market and have 1.4 billion rand under management. Amazing. So what are the unique selling points of, of this particular fund? So the most unique selling point is the fact that we have a pre-approved line of funding available for investors. <laughs> so in essence, a person that's interested to invest or a company for that matter doesn't need to part with a cent. We'll finance the subscription 100%. Amazing. The terms of the finance are also very attractive. We'll lend you that money at prime with no share in the upside. So all the upside is yours. I mean, and Prime is a very good rate. And what if I'm one of those negative people who says, tell me about the downside? There are those people. <laughs> <laughs> and for the, in that case, we're happy to give you a put agreement to sell your shares back to us. Uh, you know, I don't think I necessarily want to go into all of that now, but mm. for sure there's a put and you can exit back to us and your downside is capped. Fantastic. Um, how do potential investors qualify? All you need to have is taxable income because, of course, the big incentive here is to reduce or eliminate your taxes. And you need to be prepared to subscribe for a minimum of a million rand worth of shares. Mm -hmm. um, that's not the max. Um, the maximum, of course, is now two and a half million or five million, depending whether you're in a, a person, a trust or a company. Right. Um, what is the key asset behind this fund, the actual property? The actual property is the Pepper Club. As I said, it's a five-star hotel in the middle of Cape Town. It runs good occupancies, has a great track record. The property itself is a 22-story tower that covers almost an entire city block. It's between Loop and Long, and hmm. Pepper Street cuts across the side of it. Um, in terms of facilities, of course, it's got a spa, pool, conference center, in-house theater, which is why it's hosted lots of people from the movie industry they get to whatever they're shooting they get to use the theater i mean right. in fact anyone could use the theater if and you were checked in and want to watch a movie you could do it and i mean anything else you'd expect from a five-star hotel so we're, we're not correct yeah we're not messing around um how do investors sign up uh there firstly you could call us at the office with on 011-2626-433 and ask for catlejo mm-hmm Alternatively, you could just email Katlejo directly on Katlejo, that's K-A-T-L-E-G-O, at pepperclubinvest.co.za. Or you can just go to the website, which is www.pepperclubinvest.co.za. You know, all the documents are there, including the subscription agreements, uh, a very detailed info memo, and then get hold of one of us after that, and the contact details are on the website. Is there a deadline? There is a deadline. Uh, that deadline is the 21st of Feb um, because, of course, the tax year is sure. the end of Feb and we need a few days for FICA, etc. 
Sounds sounds like a very good deal. Okay, so I'm I'm excited about this pre-approved financing, 100% tax deductible, no cash outlay, a guaranteed minimum average yield of 7.6% uh, percent per annum for those five years that you're invested. Uh, projected internal rate of return 18.7, five star hotel. You get a couple of uh, rooms. How how many uh, half is that? You get six room nights per million rand. Fantastic. So assuming you came in as an individual for two and a half, you'd get 15 room nights. And there are almost no blockout periods. Long weekends, school holidays, you can have it all. There's only two times in the year we can't give it to you. And that's the first week of Feb when the mining in Daba runs because it's completely full. And mm -hmm. this is also how you get part of your return. Sure. And then the 20th of December to just about the 10th of Jan. But, I mean, literally right up to the 16th of December, if it falls on a long weekend and you want to, we, we'll give you the rooms. So what's the plan for this long term? I mean, are we talking about a potential exit at some point in the near future? Um, so there are probably three options on the exit. The first option is a trade sale. Some hotel group wants a hospitality asset or portfolio of them in Cape Town. We've got this five-star property going in, and of course the sunset clause is 2021, so we have plans to put more assets in. Um, so then there'd be a nice portfolio of Cape Town hospitality assets in the in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The second option is we could well list. I've just told you David and Jeffrey were on the board of APROP and Redefine, and Jeff's had his own experience listing. Um, we think a listing is not inconceivable. Right. Um, it's probably very real, actually. And the last the um, option is that the property that's going in is actually unencumbered. There is no bond in it. So in a worst case, we could actually just raise a bond on the property and buy back the shares of those people yeah. who actually want to get out. Be a valuable property. Yeah. Very uh, good. We've got a valuation on it now of a half a billion rand. Um, the val it's 496 million, some change. And the valuation is available for inspection by anyone that wants it. It was done by an independent firm of Quantry Surveyors, ACOM. Amazing. Well, thank you very much, Amaresh, for talking to us this morning. And with uh, all the information you need to know about Section 12J, you can find out more by listening to the rest of the episodes in this series. Since 2009, Section 12J has been part of South Africa's tax landscape. It is a critical piece of legislation that provides strong incentives for investors to help uplift and grow local SMEs. With just over 6 billion rand under management and over 160 12J funds in existence, thousands of investors have injected capital into local SMEs that play in sectors ranging from hospitality, which we've just discussed now, to tourism and renewable energy and many more. In return, every Section 12J investor receives an immediate tax deduction equal to 100% of the amount that they've invested in the first year of their investment. Added to this, 12J funds typically have regular investment returns in the form of examples, dividends, which we've just discussed too. So thank you very much for clearing that up for us. Sounds like a great opportunity. If you want to find out more, you can find all the details on cliffcentral.com too. Thank you. Thanks.